Hey guys, Matt here from Junkhouse Entertainment, and we're going to do a game of In Country. This is one of our games, so you might say this is a sponsored video, technically by ourselves, it is our product, and it's about the Vietnam War. So this is our board, we got it all laid out, a couple of high terrain features and whatnot. Uh, it looks a little European with pine trees and stuff, but we're just going to have to go with jungle. And the first part of this scenario is going to be an American platoon that has run into a small Viet Cong force and needs to be rescued. So we're going to chop her in people, get the wounded out and see how it goes. We'll come back with the end of a turn. Hey guys, so that was the end of turn one, as you may see from the uh, still picks that I'll probably try and squeeze in between these. But the rescue op was a success. The helicopters came in, uh, formed a perimeter with the fresh platoon, managed to evac the wounded first, then both platoons jumped on the Chinook from the, uh, from the stills. Like I said, you should be able to see those. I should try to work those in. Vietnamese forces, uh, real or fake, moved up on this area, and more seemed to deploy from those hills. So that's the end of this, and we'll see how the Americans respond to realizing there's a large concentration of Vietnamese on this map. Okay, so we've set up for day two. I said turn one earlier, but it was actually day one, turn one, and he got everything done in one amazing turn. So day two here and the Americans have decided that the force they ran into means there must be much larger forces in the hills in the jungle beyond so they're gonna come in set up a perimeter probably establish a fire base and then my guess is begin patrols out into here if they start them patrols day one we'll see uh, they may just focus on the base Okay, so we're back, and this is the end of turn one, day two, from the stills that I'll try to put in between. Uh, the Americans were able to drop a bunch of dudes off and push out a pretty hefty perimeter. There were hidden markers in this tree line observing one uh, was found to be fake by American forces. The other one turned out to be a uh, NVA recon cell, which this helicopter chased all the way to this tree line and then dutifully murdered. However, there are some wounded, so the Americans may try to send someone out to get that. 
other than that, because it's a beautiful sort of non-weather day and it is daytime, the NBA aren't really doing anything. A couple of red markers here and there, but don't really want to antagonize them during the daytime. All right, so that's the, you're looking at the end of turn three, day two, uh, from the sequence of photos. Basically, the Americans brought in engineers and stuff, but before that, a recon bird came all the way out to this valley and was hit by machine gun fire, damaged and driven off. Uh, they started to push a platoon up through here. Uh, hidden markers sort of responded and a sort of following thing happened where we followed the Americans all the way to this clearing where they accidentally uncovered uh, plenty of defensive positions. So that's where we left off with day two turn three. The Americans are working on their OP in daylight and a platoon sized patrol walked a great part of the ridge line there uncovering various items. Also, they dropped artillery back here, but the heavy machine guns uh, were pretty much long gone. All right, so we just ended day two. Basically, we fast forwarded time. The platoon up on the ridge worked its way down. The NVA sort of buggered off or did whatever they chose. And then the rest of the day was dedicated to building this insane, basically, uh, PP, I think it was PPB, Platoon Patrol Base, only it's almost company sized and he's already brought in dusters and all kinds of mortars and other stuff. So day three, they'll start their offensive sweeps into the jungle, maybe even head back up to that fortified area they found on day two. So we're back with day three, and it's actually been a couple of real life days since we've been able to pick up this game. And the Americans have dropped artillery all night in various sectors, including up on top of this uh, dug in position they found uh, yesterday. Uh, it's gonna be 6.30 in the morning on day three when more Americans arrive by helicopter in those fields over there. And then everyone's pushing out from the combat base to start checking these positions deeper in. I don't know their plan, I'm playing as Kong, uh, so it should be a terrible surprise.
All right, so the end of turn one for day three. So it'll be 6.30 to 6.45 in the morning. The Americans pushed out all along their perimeter front. They brought vehicles out. And then over here, two platoons of Americans landed by helicopter and were met by a duster and then began pushing up through here. They discovered a uh, explosive trap and disarmed it. Way down here, when the Americans pushed out, some markers drifted away, some NVA markers or VC markers from this tree line. But they actually did encounter at the very end of the turn a uh, small unit which fired on them but didn't do anything. So that's the end of the first turn of day three, 630 to 645. All right, so we're back at the end of turn three, and a whole bunch of stuff happened. The uh, platoons over here pushed up and in and disarmed traps and did all kinds of things. All the way across the field, uh, fire was exchanged, very light fire, and then uh, the VC disappeared, and this platoon moved forward. And now they're calling for uh, specialized troops over here to deal with what they think is another trap. And then way out here, Another American platoon was helicoptered in, dropped, found a trap, disarmed it. It was not explosive. Part of that platoon's actually on its way back up the road to the combat base. And the helicopters got the company commander for these boys. And the company commander over here hasn't landed yet. And that is the end of three. Two. Yeah, you're right. See, that's life. <laughs> There's a die over there, and I'm an idiot because I can't read it from a distance. <laughs> All right, we got the end of turn three, and a massive amount of stuff happened this turn. So, starting way up here, these platoons actually made a move up the hill and encountered NVA. There was a lot of exchange of fire. NVA were killed uh, in the exchange of fire, and then as the Americans withdrew, a platoon commander was killed. And after that, a helicopter strike pretty much messed up the positions right there. Moving down the line, uh, this platoon, which had maneuvered through these jungle areas, 
began to work their way up here where they encountered Viet Cong, including a command unit, which had to take off and run. They pursued those units and destroyed them. Then they began to work their way up this bunker line. So now the Americans are pretty sure this entire ridge is some sort of fortified position that extends all the way across. And that is turn three. Also, some of those helicopters that came and took some fire, one was damaged but managed to fly off. Very unfortunate for the NVA and VC so far today. Very few American casualties in the actual daytime operations. And that is turn three. Shoe one was the approach, and that's when we pronged out three ways. Uh, and at the very end, landed over here. Yes. And then shoe two was uh, penetrating the mountain in the jungle. Uh, she came into heavy contact. I didn't get into contact. I that was the end of the shoe when I decided that that thing wasn't real and was gonna mark it and move on. I marked your. I, I put a marker next to you. Got your guy like lying in the grass and yeah. he's like, oh, that could have gone through my ear. And then went around him. Yeah. And he because just laid we did, there because we thought he would blow us up. Right. He, they thought he was a trap. Yeah. Like yeah, that's not natural. I don't know what it is, but yeah, right there. But enabled him to flee away with the remnants of his. Yeah. Like, well, it wasn't natural, but it wasn't what we thought it was. And then this platoon settled accounts on this hill after uh, an airstrike. Turn strike. three, or shoe three was uh, spent. Yeah, that that happened in shoe two. Yeah. Shoe three was attacking the NVA, I mean the, the uh, VC, and her uh, beginning to uh, push back the reduced NVA up there after the helicopter strikes. And then uh, turn four was just us mopping up uh, and the the valiant counter the valiant yeah. retreat slash counterattack into it wasn't really a counterattack it was it was a retreat that went yeah into an attack straight into some forces because that was the only way they had to leave it was either run through the iron curtain or run into those Americans and cause some casualties like a exactly. patriotic Vietnamese so better to check fire yeah the artillery after they human wave you right mm-hmm. And then the very last thing that happened was as this platoon moved up to the top of the hill, some VC artillery landed, some NVA mortars actually landed, and a squad was actually destroyed. So, the Americans have cleared about half the board, and that's where we're going to stop for today, and we'll see if we pick this up later. Hey guys, so that's where we're going to call it. It's been three to four days of serious fighting in this area uh, the Americans took casualties from a bunch of platoons uh, one platoon I think reached 50% but that was probably the worst um, in the end almost the battalion NVA were engaged and about two-thirds of it were destroyed a couple of helicopters damaged none shot down the dusters got to drive around but didn't get to murder anyone for real that's a bummer and an American fire base was built. So this has been uh, In Country, uh, made by Junk House Entertainment, which is us. This, again, one last time, is a sponsored video. And you can find the game at www.junkhouseentertainment.com uh, under games and hobbies and stuff. Thanks for watching.